Hi everyone, this is Alma. I hope you all had a great Labor Day. We did. We got to celebrate our son's sixth birthday. So to kind of get me back into the swing of doing things again, um, I've kind of been a little lazy this past week. I wanted to give a go ahead to the sour cream containers that I had seen people make on the message board. I used a video tutorial from Oki and I just got addicted. These are so easy to make and so much fun. And I also cut out a scallop circle using mini monograms. Those you need to cut out at three and a half inches and you're gonna wanna cut out the little circle in, that we're gonna stamp our image on at three inches. And then of course the cardstock is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. So let me go ahead and get all my stuff together and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I went ahead and already cut out the pieces that we need. Like I said, you're gonna need a piece of cardstock for the small sour cream containers cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. You're going to need, I gave you the wrong measurements earlier, you're gonna need a scallop circle and this is going to be cut at three inches using mini monograms and then a circle for your stamped image cut also at three inches. And obviously a stamp set. I got the cutest one at Michael's and we are going to be using the circle with the witch's feet and a paper crimper. I never made one beef, uh, sour cream container before because I didn't have these. You can buy these at Michael's. I used my 50% off coupon yesterday so I ended up paying like 10 bucks for it. It's really cute. Okay so what you're gonna want to do is you are going to want to tape three sides only or put ATG tape or monoadhesive, just on three sides. So, sorry, I'm trying to get this angled where you can see it. Here's one, two. You don't want to do all four sides because you're gonna need to fold it. So, take the part that's got glue on it, fold it over. just like this. So you can get like a cylinder type of thing. Then you're going to take one end and you're going to fold, I guess diagonally. And you have your end. You're going to take your crimper and put it in. If I can figure out how. and then just turn it about two or three times. And there you go. So you have that end done. You can fill it with candy or whatever it is you wanna put inside. I'm just making these empty just for purpose of showing you. So once you've filled it, you just refold it, this time diagonally, from this end. Fold it one more time. and do the same thing. Take your crimper, put it in your little machine, Oops. And I'm still getting used to my machine, so. And there you go. And now you have your little sour cream container. So cute and it's so easy too. And I hope you do a better job at adhering it because mine keeps popping up. I have that problem with my ATG gun. But, so anyways, so now that you have that done, you're going to want to put your scallop circle together. So let's go ahead and stamp that really quick. I'm not the best at stamping yet. I'm still getting used to it, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. And just stamp. Okay. 
your image. And there you go. Of course, mine for the video had to come outside. Ah. You can see I'm still waking up. So then you're just going to put this together. And I use the back of some cardstock that I had in my scrap. So that's why there's pink back here. And what I did, I used 3D, um, let's do it this way, I used the 3D foam or pop-up dots to hold it in place just because I didn't want to deal with any more glue, but then just, ooh, I can't see, put it together like that and you are finished. And see, super simple. I'm going to put a link to Oki's tutorial because hers is really easy to follow. I just wanted to quickly show you how I put mine together, which is obviously the same way she did. But I um, hope you liked my video. And don't forget to enter the giveaway that I'm having this Friday for the Beyond Birthdays cart. And have a great day. Bye.